Hi, I'm Angela Fair, and welcome to this special month. This is World Watercolor Month. It's July. And all through the month of July, I'm celebrating watercolor by teaching beginner techniques. And these are not just any beginner techniques. We are focused on helping new watercolor painters be heart-led painters. That it's more than just learning the rules of watercolor that you need. It's learning to love the journey and accept who you are as an artist so that you can become your own favorite artist. So what does this mean for you? Well, every Friday in July, I'll be posting a video here on YouTube aimed at beginning painters, helping you love the watercolor process while learning watercolor techniques. Each week we'll focus on a different technique and using it in a process-driven, intuitive way. But I'm not just sharing free lessons here on YouTube, I have an entire course dedicated to the heart-led beginning painter. And if you're interested in previewing the lessons to that course before it becomes available, it's actually a part of my Fearless Artist community. Membership to this community site gives you access to over 20 of my online courses, including this developing heart-led beginner course. And it's a wonderful supportive community where you can learn in the company of other artists from all over the world artists who care about creating a heart-led learning process, just like you. Details on how to get that deeper content and become a member of my Fearless Art Artist community are linked up below. For now, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with watercolor, just a little preview into that beginner course. And from there, I hope you'll check out doodlewash.com and worldwatercolormonth.com where you can be a part of the World Watercolor Month celebrations. You can help us fill the world with color and make watercolor just a part of some of the best stuff you're going to find on the internet. Whenever I come into the studio to play, I always start with a beautiful beginning, a warm up to help encourage my creativity. And a lot of times that is just placing color and letting it flow. This is Nicolazo Yellow from Daniel Smith, and it has a lot of energy, this particular color. It really wants to move on the paper. Um, look, there's a bird. And just by letting your paint flow on the paper, you can learn a lot. I think what's really important is not to underestimate the value of a beautiful beginning, of spending time letting that paint just move on the paper. I'm gonna use Verditer Blue here and introduce a second color. Verditer Blue is also made by Daniel Smith. Just dropping that color in, using a light touch, Using lots of water, you can see how much movement I'm getting as the board is slightly tilted and the paint is flowing down. And we, we learn a lot at this stage. Excess water flows to the edge. We learn how much water it takes to really get those colors to mix on their own organically. Um, we see the barriers created by dry paper and the water really doesn't want to cover those without us actually making it. Uh, it's really interesting to see that. And I'm getting this beautiful teal color down below here. And I'm also seeing the way some pigment, the Verditer Blue likes to granulate. You can see little textural bits in the tooth of this cold press paper. But you can also see that the yellow is a lot more smooth. It, it doesn't have that same granulation. So they have different pigment qualities. And we really learn that when we give the paint some water and let it flow. A lot of times students will tell me, and we're just, we're just gonna leave it at this today. Um, students will often tell me that they don't know what to do after they've done this beautiful beginning, this first layer and let it flow and it's really beautiful. And this looks kind of like a calla lily to me. And, and they get stuck. They feel like they want to make, you know, this perfect painting after this. They let it dry, they start adding details, and then they overwork it and make a mistake. That is going to happen. But I want to encourage you, don't underestimate the value of this playing in those first layers. Yes, this is the easy part. This is where we see the painting come to life, and then we kill it in the future layers, and that is okay. It's all about the decision-making process. It's way easier to make a good decision when you have a blank piece of paper. Any decision is going to feel pretty good. And then once you start building on those decisions, it is a lot easier to make a mistake and mess up. And that's where having a heart-led learning process comes in because if you're focused on the process, 
recognizing that the decisions I make now are part of a lifelong journey that's going to lead me in that that's going to fill my toolbox with strategies that will help me make better decisions each time I paint. So today's painting, I might come back to this tomorrow and totally ruin it, but I've just broadened my skill set with a pile of strategies that I, I know I, I start to learn what they can and cannot do. And those are good things. We are going to be developing our ability to make better second layer decisions as we go through this course. So plan to make a lot of first layers to build on. One out of 10 might, might turn out and the rest might be learning opportunities and that is okay. That's why they're so easy to do, so we can make many of them, so they can teach us as much as possible. You can take part in the monthly prompts and challenge yourself to paint every day in July. Or if you're too busy, just uh, join us when you can. Join me for lessons on Fridays, where I'll be sharing beginner techniques and demonstration paintings on here on my channel and on doodlewash.com. And I'd love to encourage you to support the Dreaming Zebra Foundation. This is the charitable cause that World Watercolor Month is affiliated with. Dreaming Zebra recognizes the power of creativity and their mission is to get art supplies into the hands of needy children all over the world. It's a great cause to be a part of. Our creatives are the problem solvers and the inventors and the innovators of today and of our future. That's dreamingzebra.org. I'd love to hear how you're celebrating World Watercolor Month. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to check back. Follow along with worldwatercolormonth.com. We're going to have a lot of fun this World Watercolor Month, July 2019.